All right, today I'm gonna be showing y'all my finished snorkel on my Honda 300. And I really am happy with the way it turned out. It looks really nice and I think y'all like it too. <clears throat> Don't mind this, that's just there. I'm thinking about adding the extra support because it's just slightly rocky right there. I'm probably gonna do like a flat piece of metal right there with you bolts like right there with the you bolt all the way around the snorkel. I'd keep it from rocking. But I guess the first thing I'm gonna address is I guess I can start with the air box and show y'all how I do all of that. So I guess the first thing, I'll take off the air box and show y'all what all I've done. All right, so first, obviously seal off around all your connections that go into the air box. I even went around the, the drain hole plug on the outside. Um, but really what I've done here is I sealed off and I ran a one and a half inch pop into here was that's what i use yeah one and a half inch pop into it into a 45 right there and then a 45 connect into it and then i just ran a straight piece right there to my coupler which is right there which y'all can see and then you can see it right here um the coupler it's just there so that way y'all probably know why but it's there in case if you need to do like a top end or if you need to do any type of engine work you can just take the coupler off and then this part of your snorkel will slide off but next um i come into uh i believe that's a 45 right there yeah I think, or it's a it's either a street 90 or a 45 either of them probably will work the same into a little short piece of one and a half inch up into a 90 right there. i'll show y'all a little bit better up to a 90 and it goes straight up into the converter. You see how the bottom part of the converter sits on the bottom side of the plastics and the top part sits on the top. I ran it up and my granddad made me the snorkel bracket. Me and him worked on it together. Uh, U-bolts right there, right there, and cut a two inch. I think it's like a two and a quarter inch hole or maybe it was a two and three eighths inch hole for the snorkel. And it's just a little bit bigger. So it's sturdy. It's, but it's still a little bit shaky. The only reason that is is because I cut the hole just slightly too big. So I believe it was a two and three eighths I cut the hole. It might've been like two and a half. So do like two and a quarter probably is your best bet for that. I'm gonna figure out a way to get that. The way it doesn't move at all like on the rancher. Next, y'all probably wanna know about the vent lines, how I did them, because I did a little bit of my own things in a way. Um, I did the gas cap, how Braden Price did it, how Mud Puppy does it. Uh, so all I did was I drilled out the hole, and I think it's a an eighth to a quarter inch barb fitting, which just slides down in there once you drill it out. And you just slide down on there, and I JB welded around it, and then there's also these little pinholes on the inside of the gas cap, which my puppy shows how to, all I did is put JB weld on them, just on them, so that way, because that's how it actually breathes. So if you miss that, it isn't gonna be water tight, so you gotta make sure you get that one. I guess next time do carburetor, you can't really see it, but, from what I've understood, there's only one vent line on the carburetor. And on the bottom, there's overflow, which that's the only line I have yet to do because I ordered a one-way check valve to go. I'm gonna put a vent hose into a one-way check valve on the carburetor overflow. And I just ran the one carburetor vent line that's on there because that's what apparently there's only one. On my rancher, there, I think there's two. But I think on the 300s, there's only one. This is a 1998 300. Comment if I'm wrong about that, because I would like to know before I take it deep. But, um, and then next, I went ahead and ran my rear brakes, even though some people just say they're a joke, which I, I agree, they're not that good. But I just want to hold on to what little bit of brakes I have left. I mean, they're like in mediocre condition. They're not terrible, but they're just kind of like, they still work. So like, well, I'll just go ahead and trash them out, try and save them, so. But I did just cut the front vent lines. Uh, I cut them right here, and then I just filled them with a little bit of just goop or what, whatever type of grease you got. It'll work. That's just what I did. But back to these vent lines, what I did is I ran the rear diff and the rear brakes together on a T. So they're they're all together on both of them are on one vent line, and then there's. Your transfer case vent line, you gotta make sure you get it. It's right here, it's pretty simple. You gotta make sure you get it. Um, and then also your front diff vent line. Show you all that. It's just right there, so. 
I didn't monitor it. That's all I had laying around. You can probably see it. Yeah, you can see it. All right, there we go. And I'll just ran them all up through this hole. I don't look the best right now, but I'll probably fix that later. I just, for right now, I mean, it doesn't look bad on the snorkel. That looks pretty good. Um, but I have a total of five bit lines. Rear diff, rear brakes, they're all together on one. So that's one. Front diff, that's two. Transfer case, that's three. Carburetor, that's four. Gas cap vent line, that's five. Our crank case breather. A lot of y'all have questions about that, and I, I know I did too, so I want to try and make it as clear as I've understood it and hope I did it right. Try and explain it to y'all. So, that right there, it comes, that's where it's at. It's if you look, it has a T, like a factory, and that T it is made into like a little bit of like a drain. There's like, it's like the T, it's just the, the breather. And there's also like a like a little drain line or something. I don't, I'm not really sure. I couldn't find much information about it, but what I, what I could tell, it was just like a little bit of just like a trash line. So, and it wasn't even breathing. It was just capped off. So people didn't make it very clear, but I'm hoping I'm, I did this right. So I ran it right there. I ran it up, up along through the frame. I'm not on the gas tank, but I don't know this ride. I looped, looped it around like what they say to do. And I ran it up through here on the frame and into my air box. And remember how I said that the factory, it came with a T? Well, I used the T to put it back into my air box. Drilled a hole, I believe it was a, I'm not gonna say what size it was because my dad did that part. I don't wanna give you all the wrong information on that. Cause I don't honestly know, but I ran it. Just I ran the vent line into it, and since it's a T, it sits flush right here, like that, and then it sits out like that. So you can kind of tell what I'm talking about, as you can see. Like half of it's this part won't let it slip out, and this part it vents into, and I've sealed all around it. So that's the way I did my vent line, and this way. Everyone that's watching this, if your bike still got the factory crankcase breather line, you can do it this way too. And I mean, it can breathe on both ends of this uh, connector or T. So that's pretty good. I, I was happy with, with the way that turned out. I was a little bit nervous if I was going to do that right, but I believe I did it right. And I think that's about it for everything that snorkel wise, y'all probably want to know about. Uh, I'm really excited to take this thing deep soon. And I know y'all are looking forward to that. So make sure to get this video really good and i'll upload the video as soon as i can going deep i can go soon but i just don't know how high the water level is <clears throat> you know, I, to, I go to my right down the road and there's i don't even it hadn't even been on the channel yet but it's where i go deep uh, i'm excited so that's gonna be a banger so make sure you stay tuned for that and you like comment, subscribe so this video does good here's my draw box uh, i got the pelican 1050 is what um, Brody Trump's YouTube channel is what he used, so so I, I try it out because my last one didn't work. But all y'all want to know the startup on this thing. <clears throat> this is how it starts up. It starts and runs like a like a dream. Like this thing is amazing. I love this one really. And I guess I'll show y'all. I need to show y'all how my <clears throat> lights are in. So. Uh, you turn them on, and this switch, it will stay on whichever way you've got it. Right, I had them on, but I'll turn them off. So right now, you turn them on. Yeah, here's my headlights. If I just turn them on, it's just my headlights. That's pretty sick. And then if I hit my switch, it is my light bar and my headlights. And this thing, them things are bright. Like let me tell you, not. I can't. I don't, I don't even know if I'm ride on the road yet because it might actually bond somebody but i just want to let y'all know a little bit of updates on the 300 and i hope y'all are excited as excited as i am i'll try and take it as deep as soon as possible and um don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch y'all next time